Are we the bad guys here? Yeah, it seems very likely. Adrian, what are you doing here? I'm an insurance investigator now. I thought you were in Alaska. Oh, yeah, I was after Rosa and I broke up, but then I accidentally killed a protected buffalo. Self-defense. Next thing I know, fish and game are all over my ass. I ended up in a fight with a bear, and I had to think to myself, why am I even here? Scully. Hey, Jake. She's been alive forever. How'd you used to cure hangovers? Oh, I didn't drink. I was, however, extremely into cocaine for most of 1986. I gotta tell you the truth, it's God, can I tell you the truth? You and me, man, we're gonna be co-captains. But first, I'm taking you to Japan. I'm already packed. I had three heart attacks that year and declared bankruptcy. Hitchcock turned out just fine. Thank you, sir. You should be frowning. Why is Jake smiling? Why are you smiling? Because the captain just gave us the perfect revenge plan. We team up and solve this case right now. That is not what he meant. Okay, think about it, Amy. We go back to the scene of the crime, find the murder weapon, and out vulture the vulture. No one gets in trouble if we crack the case. OK, screw it. I'm in. Yes, that's right. All right, we're angry. We're getting revenge. We're a little bit tipsy. We should not be driving. We're taking the bus. I love the bus. <sighs> we're cops. Broad shoulders. Stuck. Told you. Broad shoulders. Apparently, our detective squad has gotten drunk, compromised the crime scene, and an officer has gotten stuck in a trash chute. We just have to find out which football player had third period with Brandon Bliss. We need his class schedule. Yeah, but where are we going to find that? In the coolest room in the school. Good lord. You could have just picked the lock. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just so amped up about admin. Son of a bitch. Where'd you find a steering wheel? I didn't. I had a Frisbee in the trunk and I taped it on. That's right, I MacGyvered the donk out of this thing and it worked flawlessly. Actually, I hit a ton of stuff on the way over here. It was awful. Oh, of course you did. Yeah. Gina! Hey, ho, 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 hey! Hey, ho! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Somebody take her down! What are you talking about? I don't know. I fell. We're already married. It doesn't matter. Well, you guys are in for a beating. What? Is that some kind of kidney pill? It's like... to reduce my various swellings. Basically, it's just speed. That's illegal. Yuck, and... yuck, yuck, yuck. So, Adrian, how's life as an insurance investigator? It's amazing. At Great Star Mutual, they let me do whatever I want. As long as I'm getting that job done, and you know I am. Last week, I waterboarded a dude. Oh, that's not legal. Doesn't matter. I'm not a cop. Anyway. Thanks for coming down again. What's going on at work? Not much. I'm investigating a big time money launderer. Moves tons of cash under the table. It was stressful because the brass got involved, so there were a lot of eyes on the operation. But in the end, they gave us room to work. Well, sounds like it was a very successful operation. Here you go, bro. 105 Picante beef. Great. I'll keep five packs for myself. You want me to do the rest? Thanks for the soups. Here's your cell phone. Thank you. We must solve one of Vin's puzzles to enter. Rearrange the letters of this phrase to reveal a place in the world. Meet a brainier stud, eh? United Arab Emirates. You may enter. <sighs> oh. Uh, you must each answer a puzzle. Oh. Great. Unscramble the letters in this phrase to reveal the name of a film based on a classic novel. Okay. Sad anus loser, I go in. You know, I feel like these puzzles are actually very pointed. Forget it. I got this. Uh, are... Puzzle solved. All right, you mooks. Our union health plan has 100% reimbursement for out-of-state ambulance rides. Scully will fake a medical emergency. Don't need to fake it. Always having at least one. Great. You call an ambulance and have it take us here to Monroe, Louisiana. The ambulance can drive 25 miles over the posted speed limit, so we'll get there by 9 p.m. There's a small airport there, mostly servicing crop dusters. Of course, they can't take passengers. But thanks to a loophole in HR 377551, police officers are allowed to commandeer any plane in the interest of national security. Hey, hey, hey there. What are you doing? I'm just playing a prank on my buddy. Sounds fun. Carry on. It was a very good prank. I totally thought I was going to die. What the hell was that? <laughs> ah! Ah! Another human torch! I got something really cool to show you on the balcony. I think you're really going to like it. See you in hell, partner. You killed her? Plus. 
I mean, I can teach you guys how to fake take real drugs like a pro. I used to do it all the time when I was undercover. All you gotta do is close your nostril when you go down. Watch this. Oh, nope. I didn't do it that time. I got a full snoutful. Woo! <laughs> okay, no, let me just try it again. I'm a little rusty. All you gotta do, just close the old nostroni and then... Oh, boy, I got more that time. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Whoa! Where did you get this? You know what else I think? Are you listening, huh? Are you, Mr. Warden? I think we should be able to decorate our own cells, don't you? I mean, choose our own wallpaper, laminated flooring, crown molding. Ooh, my friend Charles loves crown molding. He says if it doesn't have the crown, you got to vote it down. Are you on drugs? Yes, and you should too, you know? Get on my level, because quite frankly, we are not on the same wavelength at ag. At ag. At ag. And that's weird, I can't say the word ag anymore. Yep, you've done a ton of blizz. Yes, blizz! That's why I'm here. Wait. Why am I here? Blizz. Yes! Ramirez smuggling the blizz into the prison as bars of soap. Interesting. Hey, that's good work. I know! I am the smartest man of ag time! Ag time! Ag time! Ag time! That was it. Why were you coming out of the admin wing with the guard? Um... Okay, Jake, don't freak out, just stay calm. You're on a crazy amount of blizz, but your brain still works. The warden was yelling at me. Are you on blizz? What? <laughs> What makes you think that? Because you just told us. OK, Jake, don't freak out. Just stay calm. You're on a crazy amount of blizz, but your brain still works. Yep, I am nips deep in blizz. Nice. <laughs> I was worried you were still a cop, but what kind of cop does that much meth? <laughs> well, no, no, not meth, blizz. Yeah, that's meth. We just call it blizz because meth has a bit of an image problem. Oh, oh my god, I guess I'm addicted to meth. No, I am not. I just love it, and I'm consumed with the thought of doing it again. I want to hug you, but you're cuffed. You can hug me. Because after we hugged goodbye, I noticed your pin was in my pocket. Oh, that's weird. It was? Uh-huh. And then I used it to mind freak myself out of my cuffs and then out of jail. Well. And I guess it's certainly lucky that it ended up in your pocket. I wonder how it got there. Yeah, well, I guess we'll never know. Oh, hey, Jake. What's what's the deal with the office today? It's, it feels crazy. Somebody sold 20 bricks of coke and some machine guns from evidence. What? It's the first I'm hearing of it. You can do anything you put your mind to. Because in the end, my bearded lady, the beard was under you, the greatest showman. <laughs> You're right. I can do anything. Anything I put my mind to. 